Hi everybody, Jackie here with Dr. Dunlap of Coshocton Dentistry. How are you doing today? Good, how are you Jackie? Doing great, thanks Good. for asking. Good. Today we're talking about oral cancer screening. This is a really important topic. Yes, uh, I, I can't tell you how devastating it is. Uh, it's a very scary disease and a lot, oftentimes, unfortunately, it's terminal. Uh, I've had several patients in my practice in my 30 years that have unfortunately had that and it's, it's very uh, upsetting and very uh, you know, challenging to witness. So, so yeah, early detection is really important. We want to really definitely, that's one of the things we are very serious about routinely checking every time, each time patients come in. Wow. So overall, five-year survival rate, 60% so, for men. Yeah, the survival rate is better, um, but it's still at 60%. That means four out of 10 are not making it after five years. That's not very, that's a lot. And, uh, you know, um, it's it's frightening, really. So we really want to get things when they're small and, and early so that we have a better chance at survival. So what are some risk factors? You know, tobacco and alcohol are classically the things linked to uh, oral cancer. Um, tobacco for years has been one of the worst things, unfortunately, that has, uh, we've seen in, in cases like that. But it doesn't have to be. It could be genetics. Um, you know, I've had patients really with no history of alcohol or tobacco abuse, young people. And uh, mm -hmm. it's very frightening. Very frightening. So let's talk a little bit more about it. Um, so another idea, what we're finding in newer research is human papillomavirus, and there's a real connection with that and oral pharyngeal cancer. And human papillomavirus is really on the rise. It's almost, uh, unfortunately, you know, epidemic-like. And so, you know, that virus in itself, there are vaccines for it. Um, it's something that, you know, you really need to take seriously, um, in your lifestyle. Yeah. So if you, if you do have, um, HPV, it may be, you know, right away, you want to get in with your dentist to have an oral cancer screening because yeah. it's kind of a connection there. You want to have some kind of evaluation routinely. Routinely. And when yeah. you say routinely, what's, what's the recommendation once a year? Yeah. I mean, I think like I say, each time we do a hygiene visit, we're, we're in there looking, looking and screening yeah. for it. That's yes. great. That's so great. So what is the diagnostic process? Well, it's pretty simple, really, in terms of what we do. We, we simply examine it with physical examination, looking at it with mirrors. And if there's something that looks suspicious, we'll maybe palpate it with our fingers just to see what kind of lesion or things that we're particularly looking at. The thing about things and lesions in your mouth are a lot of times they are you know, misdiagnosed, it's hard to know for sure what you're looking at. So, you know, we, we're, we err on the side of caution, you know, we're more aggressive in looking at those kinds of things. And certainly if there's something that looks amiss, we would, you know, get other people, specialists potentially involved. Right away. Yeah. So let's talk about this side here. So, yeah. And you can kind of switch to the next one there, but it just really what we're doing is just a simple clinical exam. And like I said, we do that routinely each time uh, when you come in for your dental visits. And we'll look at this border of your tongue, which is a real common area for oral cancer to, to appear. Um, you know, we look at the gums and the soft tissue. Most of the time is where you see lesions in the mouth. And again, most of these things are benign, but sometimes, um, you know, they can be precancerous or cancerous. Absolutely. So it's better to get in and check and have yeah. this routine yeah. screening, you know, to know early detection is the goal. Yeah. A lot of times patients describe not really wanting to come in for an oral hygiene visit. And one of the main benefits of our oral hygiene program is we do this exam. So for your oral hygiene visits, what is your recommendation for frequency? How often should someone come in for an oral hygiene That's visit? That's a good question. You know, it depends on the person. You know, if people are very healthy, you know, every six months is a good, good frequency. But if people have gum disease, uh, concerns with their gums, we, we would see them more frequent. More three frequently than that, three yes. to four months. That's really good to know. So if you guys haven't had a screening in a while, if you haven't had a cleaning in a while, it's time to get in and make sure that you are screened for oral cancer. This is serious. You want to make sure that early that you can detect it early, uh, just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry. Yes. So um, get your appointment today with Dr. Dunlap or Dr. Lapper. Find their contact information or schedule your appointment right online at shockedandentistry.com. Yes, Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you.